Hey, hi. Um, just got back from a great little drive today. It was just a little day trip, but it's on a nice little known road. We were headed toward Melrose, Montana. That actually wasn't the main goal. The main goal was to check out and see some of these beautiful fall colors because it's gorgeous out there. But we ended up going on this one um, road. We've driven by a million times, but we've never gone on it. It's uh, um, doesn't have a name or anything. It's just a uh, just a rough road. And anyway, uh, took some great footage, great pictures. So I hope you come along and uh, enjoy the ride with us. So that red line is kind of generally generally where we went. Um, that's McCarthy Mountain, a mining district, and just a great uh, back road. And the weather was perfect, a little bit overcast, but not too bad. So this is definitely high desert uh, mountain country. But this is definitely desert high country. Clouds are starting to roll in. So we're hoping we don't get a downpour or anything. I don't think we will. Pretty interesting country though. Actually, straight over that way, I believe, is Butte, Montana. So we're just going to head down this road, see where it takes us.
so this is antelope hunting time. Actually, the season starts tomorrow. Uh, we did, we only saw one person out looking for antelope. This is not antelope country here, but um, anyway. Now we're going up to the top of this hill. It doesn't look like much of a hill from right here, but this is pretty steep. Went straight up. Okay, so we're at the top of the hill. This is McCarthy um, Mountain. Uh, originally was a mining area. Not too much, well, nothing going on now, but uh, it's really beautiful. So looking right here in this direction is toward Dillon. And you can see we're pretty high up here. Had to take a close look at this bush here. It was pretty cool. So there's an outcropping of these rocks, which... I'll show you here in a second. You see all those orange um, rocks. Well, earlier you see some of them jetting out. There's um, so like right there those those jets, and then earlier there was like a whole um, row, like a curve of them. Here's what they look like up close. It's kind of like shale and everything. I wish I was a geologist. <laughs> Should have studied that when I was in school. But anyway, this is some really uh, cool formations. And it's. I'm glad we were able to get up a little bit close and see the ridges. But mainly the views up here are just spectacular. I'm just kind of giving you a 360 here. There's some more of that ridge. Those weren't very steep but some of them go real high and it goes all along this whole area that we were driving every once in a while you see those outcroppings but look at how how rich that um those colors are the different colors of lichen are represented by certain minerals it would be fun to know what minerals cause those that's probably iron all that red stuff But check out these views. And the weather was just perfect today. So all along in So all along in here we noticed this outcropping. It's really beautiful up here. So actually we're east of Melrose and down there is a little better perspective yeah that is um, Melrose and the Wise River is up in there So what do you think? Do you like seeing these Montana views? Do another it's a really beautiful country. It's different than a lot of places. Here. And of course, every place in Montana is different. There's such variety in the terrain. But I like going to places where most people don't go. So there are little known areas of Montana. We will head in to Melrose. Yeah, so Melrose was established in 1881. And the reason being is there was a big mining operation, Hecla Mine, and the it became a railroad station because they were hauling out enormous amounts of, well, mainly silver. 
that now uh, the Hecla mine area, and you can look that up on the internet. I'll put a link to some information about the Hecla so mine, that's... but it's owned by private people right now. And so there isn't anything there that looks like mining. I decided to walk down this hill and just look around. <laughs> I'm always looking for snakes on the road. That's why I'm looking down. It was pretty steep, actually. You wouldn't know it from the drive up or even probably from this walk down, but it was pretty steep. It's a nice walk. Okay, so now we uh, got a marker here so we kind of know where we are. Rochester is just seven miles, just seven miles, which would take a long time because it's a pretty rough road getting to Rochester. And then Camp Creek Road. Now we're going toward Camp Creek Road. And then as we go forward and out, um, some really uh, pretty country, a little different. As we get down lower, we get into some of the, yeah, we get into a lot more colors. Sometimes if you look real close, you see some pretty interesting things. So I noticed something unusual right there because it was blue out of place. So as I zoom up, because I'm not going to walk that far, it's pretty far. It's actually a natural bridge. See if I can hold this pretty steady. See that? That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get zoomed up a little closer. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's awesome. Our bird just flew by. Cool. So we're still heading down the road out that way. It's actually turning out to be a pretty nice day. Okay, here I was able to get a better shot of that land bridge I saw from way far away. That's pretty cool. So here's just some shots of the country and now we're, we're getting down into the lower land gets real pretty up ahead and then we'll uh, cross over to Melrose here in a little bit. We still got another really pretty road to go down. I'm going to speed this up a little bit as we head on down to the bottom area.
Sometimes I wonder where we are. I mean, this could be like Arizona, northern Arizona, a lot of different places. Nevada, Wyoming. This is kind of interesting in here, too. I don't know if that's natural or if they did some mining right there. It's kind of hard to tell without getting out of here. Now this up ahead is must be Camp Creek Road. Gets real pretty, lots of colors. Even this is dry land you can see how the colors are changing. So I think they've had a little bit of a frost where we haven't. It's starting to get really pretty out here. Okay, we're coming down around there's some mining and mine entrances of course we didn't check them out or anything it's private property kind of interesting though and some cool old buildings you're seeing less and less of them today and straight ahead we'll be approaching Melrose Okay, now we're getting into Melrose, but we're just crossing over the river. I wanted to show you some of the beautiful colors. So this is the big hole. Or maybe just a tributary off of the big hole, I'm not really sure. Well, the whole point of this trip was to show you some of the beautiful fall colors. It was a little bit of a long way around getting here, but it was worth it. So I'll just let this run. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll do a follow-up video on the town of Melrose. This was just getting to be a little bit too long, and I wanted to leave you with just some of these beautiful colors. 
Well, thanks again for watching Travels with Lucky. We appreciate you taking the time out to watch and hope we added a little bit of brightness and adventure to your day. Enjoy and have a great weekend. <laughs>